Hey guys, Sam Yule here. Today I'm going to be talking about the Alpine. So the Alpine environment basically consists of anything above the bush line, uh, open tussock tops, scree, exposed rock faces, and then obviously up into your more mountaineering type domain, you know, where you're, you're in the snow and the ice using full on mountaineering gear. You know, obviously the dangers with, with the Alpine environment are, um, you know, it's steep undulating and, and often very unforgiving terrain if you uh, make a mistake. Having said that, it's not surprising that 100% uh, of fatalities in the Alpine zone are a result of a fall. Oh, careful here. Rock's coming. Rock, rock. Sorry guys. Oh, that was a goodie. Lesson learned. Don't try and rush because you'll dislocate your shoulder and spend half an hour with the boys yanking at it like they're trying to bloody get a newborn calf out of a, an old heifer. Another um, point to touch on that statistic too is that 80% of those fatalities were actually solo at the time of their fall. Um, so whether that being the fall has actually you know, caused death or it's the exposure afterwards and uh, not having a mate there to, to either help them out or um, you know, push the e-curve button. As you're coming around through these rocky bits, while it looks like it's really stable, there's actually bits of rock everywhere. As you pull on something, it can just come away. So before you put your weight on it, you really have to give it a good nudge. It makes you've got three points of contact at all times. And if it does look bad, turn back earlier than later. Once you commit, it gets pretty hard to turn back. So being Kiwis and obviously having this country right on our doorstep, you know, we, um, we're probably known to, to push the limits and our own personal limits from time to time. And um, yeah, I mean that can obviously result in, in making a bad decision and then uh, next thing you know you're, you're in a whole world of trouble. It's moments like these that you need PLBs. <sighs> actually put me past my, my limit there. You certainly wouldn't want to do that with poor boats, you'd, you'd pretty much die. So a few points I want to touch on, um, you know, that can, that can obviously keep you a bit safer in the outdoors. One being, um, you know, you've got to have top quality gear um, with your boots being extremely important in this sort of terrain. You want something that's going to support your ankles and, and good tread as well. Another point is, you know, you've got to be really in touch with, with the weather and the forecast that you get before you head out into the hills. Um, you know, we're sitting here in mid-January and we're having to pull this trip short just because of changeable weather conditions, you know, like we, we've barely got out above zero degrees at the moment. So that's another point with gear, you know, there's no point just packing shorts and t-shirt and expecting sunny weather. You've got to be adaptable and flexible and if the weather comes in, you've just got to, you know, make a call for safety's sake, really. It's getting a bit later in the day now, we've got a big, big mission to get off this hill too, so we're going we're gonna to pull pin early and get back to camp, get out of this weather. Communications, another massive factor in um, you know, keeping you safe in the hills. Not only should you, um, you know, carry, carry an e perb and a, maybe a satellite phone if possible, but you need to let people know before you leave what your intentions are, what routes you're going to be taking. And if you're going past a, a backcountry hut or anything, you know, write your name in the book and, and let people know um, where you're heading from that hut because if things go pear shaped from then on, least searchers have got a a reference point to sort of start searching from. I don't think I'm trying to scare you and put you off by um, you know, not uh, getting out and about and enjoying these hills. But uh, I guess we, what we're trying to do is just educate you a bit more and, um, and just show you the importance of, of good gear, reading the weather and um, you know, letting people know what you're up to so that uh, you make it home.